drop by. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Because you're a vault dweller. <laughs> I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in... You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. <laughs> They boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? surviving out here, rebuilding the world, gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? The Institute? Who were they? That, Blue, is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. Synths. Synthetic people. Sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. They make synthetic people? That's right. There are two major kinds you have to watch out for. The first is an obvious fake. Skin looks like plastic, skeleton might even be showing. You see groups of them scouring the Commonwealth, killing people and scavenging what's left. I reported on University Point a while back. <laughs> Whole town got cleaned out. The second type of synth is the real deal. With skin, blood, <laughs> warm smiles and guilty glances, just like a good old fashioned human. So do you think they could be involved? The Institute, or one of their agents? I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? just ignore kidnappings out here? <laughs> yeah, Blue, you haven't noticed? You grow up in the Commonwealth and eventually someone is gonna get taken. <laughs> Maybe not someone you know, but someone. And people just say, well, could have been worse. Could have been killed by raider attacks or super mutants or feral ghouls. <laughs> they just give up. So I want my readers to hear what keeps you going. Maybe they'll find a little inspiration. Now, what would you like to say? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where this story goes next. Piper. Heading my way? Sure, let's go. Will do. Miss Wright, I trust you'll do your best to put the safety of my master before your own personal gain. Of course, Codsworth. Psh, Jesus. Lucky for me, those two things go hand in hand.
Hey, Piper. What's going on? Your thoughts? Anyone with that much firepower plans on using it. No matter what they claim. I just wanted to check in. Make sure things were all right between us. I suppose things are all right. Just feels like we could be doing more for folks out here, you know? That was all I had. Okay. Brotherhood sure knows how to take all the fun out of dressing in rivets and leather. Big, loud, full of corrupt officials and dominant citizens. But it's fine. Don't mind the clutter. Sometimes you gotta wonder, does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? That's a fairy tale, man. They don't know what it Nah, I heard that he knows a guy that works for him. They got both ways and everything. The Freedom Trail. The hell is that supposed to be? You're full of it. That kind of talk is going get you snatched up by the scent. otherwise.
phone. Welcome, Patriot, to Boston Common. The start of the Freedom Trail. Learn more about the historic Freedom Trail. And learn the history of Boston Common. Tell me about the Freedom Trail. Starting here at Boston Common. Follow the red path as it winds its way through our great city's streets. Markers on the trail are placed at many famous historic sites. See Paul Revere's house, the old North Church, the old State House, Bunker Hill, and many more. Definitely a code. I hear something! Huh? What's that?
Now a six and an O. Oh. now. Five R. Doesn't seem like a great place to linger. Someone there. here. D next. One R. Hmm. The trail ends right at the church.
So, that's not right. Hmm, it spins. Starts with R. No, I have to start over. Here we go again.
stop right there. You went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, answer my questions. Who the hell are you? Put down your weapons first. Until I determine you're not a threat, we'll point our weapons wherever we damn well please. Who told you how to contact us? I don't want to get anyone into trouble. We'll find out, one way or another. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. And you are? Deacon, where have you been? You're having a party. What gives with my invitation? I need intel. Who is this? Wow. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal out there. Yeah, I've been pretty busy. You know, you're practically famous. You saved Amelia Stockton from those maniacs at Covenant. That earns you points in my book. And, as if that wasn't enough, you're the leader of the Minutemen. I hear you cleared out the castle. Everyone's talking about that. So you're vouching for him? Yes, trust me. He's someone we want on our side. That changes things. So, stranger, why did you want to meet with us anyway? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. I'm looking for help to find him. Someone stole your boy? That's terrible. Do you know who did it? For your sake, I hope the Institute isn't involved. Why would the Institute be involved? Many kidnappings in the Commonwealth are perpetrated by the Institute. Why? Who knows? But I've never heard of them taking children. So hopefully they're not involved. I'll have Deacon look into this. If anyone can find a lead on your boy, he can. If we're going to be dealing with you, I need to make sure we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? I've heard rumors. What are they, really? The Institute created them. Synthetic humans. They're mostly organic, part machine. Somewhere along the line, they became more than just constructs. They think, they feel, and they act just like you and me. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. That sounds like slavery. Exactly. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? Once, I pledged my life to protect my countrymen. I don't see this as any different. Well said. We'll do what we can to look into your missing boy. What the Institute has done to your family and others is what drives us. Normally, you're exactly the type of person we try and recruit. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. Excuse me. Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Do you really have to be so cagey? Wasn't what I'd call a warm welcome. The precautions are necessary. In our business, if we underestimate our enemy's capabilities, it's game over. But it's all good now. I vouched for you, nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. So tell me, why did you vouch for me? I've heard a lot of things about you. Enough to want to give you a chance. So Des wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just going to come out and say this. The railroad needs you. You sure you need me? Desdemona didn't seem to care. She's just thinking of the time and manpower it would take to train you. And if you were some hick from the burbs that didn't know your ass from a rocket launcher, she'd be right. But I'm betting someone like you just needs a few pointers. And a target. You got my attention. I got a job. Too big for me, 
just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Dez invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. What's the job? So, up front, the only thing I'll say is that it's gonna be a wild and dangerous ride, but probably nothing new for someone like you. Sign me up, then. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there.